I'm actually going to review a comic book. What? Reading is fundamental. Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd. I have no problem admitting that I'm a big Archie fan. It's what I grew up with. We didn't have a comic book shop around me growing up, so the only way I could get comics was to the grocery store, and the only comic books that the grocery store usually have is Archie. The occasional Spider-Man, the occasional Superman, but it was all the time Archie. I still love Archie to this day. Come at me, bro. So of course, I was excited and delighted to hear that Archie, who has done some crossovers in the past, has decided to do a crossover with Predator. So I have in my hand the first and second issue of Archie versus Predator. This is an actual comic book that exists. Two of four, the other two are on their way out. It's a collaboration between Archie Comics and Dark Horse Comics, not Dark Horse, the song by Katy Perry. Now some of you might be familiar with Afterlife with Archie. It's a more modernized, darker take on the Archie franchise and dealing with zombies. That's what I thought Archie vs. Predator was going to be, but it is not. Archie vs. Predator is straight up an Archie comic. Jughead's eating the food, Betty and Veronica are fighting over Archie, Archie's girl crazy, Reggie's a jerk, Moose is dumb, Cheryl Blossom even shows up and causes trouble between Betty and Veronica like she does. Jokes, the puns, everything. I'm just going to show you the first page, it's not a spoiler, but just so you can see, it is very much the Archie comics that you know. It's very Archie drawn. Jughead wins a contest in a potato chip bag that lets him and his friends go to a beach resort. See, that, that is classic Archie right there. They just don't know that a ship has landed and the Predator comes out and decides that he has to take him out. And I don't mean to a malt at the chocolate shop. So the fact that it's written like a classic style Archie makes it even more crazy when Predator starts getting into it. You're probably thinking, well, if it's written like an Archie comic, then that means that there's not really any death in it. There's no blood in it. <laughs> oh, there will be blood. The first issue is kind of just a setup, so there's not as much craziness that happens in there, but there is one specific like, oh, okay, Predator is up in this. But this one, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. If you don't wanna be spoiled, Close your eyes right now. I'll tell you when you can open your eyes again. If you want to just get an idea of what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you something to you, okay? Don't look if you don't want spoilers. See, that's like, that's classic Archie, you know? Oh, 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 but there's Predator, okay, you see, see that there? All right, here we go. Page two. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! This is an Archie comic, yo! <laughs> When I saw that, you can open your eyes now. When I saw that, I freaked out because I was like, oh my goodness, it's the juxtaposition of, hey, we're Archie, we're in modern day, we still act like we're teenagers in the 50s, and then you see that, what I just showed? Oh my goodness, and that's just the beginning. That is just the beginning, there's more. They're allowing the fact that they have Predator in this to get a little bit more risque with some of the Archie characters as well. Like Reggie is a horn dog in this. There's a part where Veronica gets a little skimpy. There's a joke with Kevin to make you remember that he's gay. So it gets a little cheesy sometimes. It is Archie. It doesn't take you away from it. It's still really good. They also have one pages at the end for more crossovers. So I bought both of these comics. This is not sponsored, I bought both of these. After reading them, I was like, I gotta tell people about these. There's variant covers available. There's also digital copies available directly from Dark Horse. I cannot recommend this enough. I love Archie and this is ridiculous. Let me know in the comments if you have these comics and read them what do you think or if you're going to get them now that I've talked about them. And let me know if you would like for me to pick up and review more comics in the future. Now of course it's me so you know the type of comics I'm gonna pick it up. It's mostly gonna be silly stuff like this. I gotta be me! Thumbs up this video and if you're new here please subscribe to my channel. Subscribing lets you know when new videos come out. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000. Watch out for Predator.